Uh, and I was in the room this week with uh, two senior leaders uh, on a healthcare IT team that came in from outside of healthcare. And it was fascinating, you know, very talented people from banking, from uh, manufacturing. It's interesting where these people are coming from and they're being brought in because of their specific technology skills and, and uh, you know, new models that they're looking at and those kind of things. Uh, do you think this is a trend that's going to continue? And what, what do you think the hardest thing for these people to really grasp about healthcare and the transition to healthcare uh, is going to be when they come in from the outside? Sure. So I guess two thoughts to that is that if I were to ask, where do I want to partner with innovators? Is it retail? Is it banking and finance? The answer is it's actually consumer. And so look at what Google and Amazon and Apple and these sorts of folks are doing. They're creating tools and technologies that at a very large scale can empower a lot of interesting innovation. The challenge is, is those organizations don't have the healthcare domain expertise precisely. And so if they offer a cloud hosted machine learning service, it's now my responsibility to make sure that it has the appropriate domain knowledge integrated into it when I create an application. So that's okay. You know, consumer companies go create the generic and then I will go create the vertical using that tool. Interesting. And that's what they're looking for when they partner with the health system. They're looking for that deep, uh, domain knowledge. They uh, and they recognize. I think now more than ever, when you talk to a Silicon Valley startup uh, or even one of these bigger players, they will say, "We need strong uh, health system partners, uh, partner with physicians, and, and have those conversations." Mm -hmm.